Today I am going to start the process of making apple butter. So in this sink I have nine pounds of apples and I have a variety. I have some uh, Granny Smith, some Red Delicious, and some Pink Lady. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash them and then you quarter them and core them. Then I'm going to put them in this roaster pan with some apple juice and let them cook for a few hours till they are nice and soft and once once they get to that point I'll bring you back and show you the next step alright so I've got the nine pounds of apples in my cooker here and the recipe called for um, apple cider but I couldn't find any and I also wanted to keep this organic because these are organic apples so I'm going to use this apple juice instead. It's organic apple juice that I got from Aldi. And you're to add three cups of apple juice or apple cider. And then you let these apples cook until they are soft. So I'm going to put my cooker up on about 300. I don't want it to um, scorch and I'll let this cook and when they're ready to process run through the food mill I'll bring you back. It's been about two to three hours and the co apples are completely cooked down so now I'm going to put it in this food mill this is the same one I used to do the tomatoes and I'm going to get the um, peels off but the directions say not to liquefy it. So you don't want to um, press it too hard. You just want to get the skins off. So I'm going to do that and when we are ready for the next step I'll bring you back. So at this point, it's just plain applesauce, and if that's what you wanted to do, you could stop right here and start canning it, but I am going to be making apple butter. So what you have to do for that is you have to add some sugar and some spices, and then you have to cook it down till it's nice and thick. So I'm going to transfer this back into this uh, roasting pan, and then add the uh, rest of the ingredients. So the apples are applesauce is back in the cooker. I'm going to just turn it up on a low temp for right now, about 250. And then to this you want to add four and a half cups of sugar. I'm going to cut the sugar by a little bit and only put four cups in. So there is the four cups of sugar. And then to that you want to add two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of cloves. So there's the one teaspoon of cloves, and you know how much I love cinnamon, so instead of two and a half teaspoons, I'm going to add three. So you just want to mix this all together thoroughly, and then cook this down until it's thickened. So when this is to the right thickness and consistency, I'll bring you back. The apple butter has been cooking for quite a while and it's to the right consistency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this, I'm going to shut this off, let it cool off and put it in a smaller pot and put it in the refrigerator and then tomorrow I'll heat it up and I'll can it. So I'll bring you back tomorrow. Good morning friends. It is the next day and I have been heating this. Uh, apple butter on the stove and it's it was boiling but I think I want it to get just a little bit hotter so I'm going to leave that go just for a couple more minutes I've got the jars in the ball water bath canner 
and you just can see that it's boiling. So the jars are clean and sterilized and hot. This apple butter is almost hot enough. I've got my setup over here all ready to go. My rings and lids are hot. I've got my vinegar and paper towel and all my tools. And I have a wrist brace and rubber glove on because my wrist is hurting for some reason. I don't really know why. <laughs> but I put the rubber glove on so that my wrist brace stays clean and my food stays sterilized. All right, let me get you on the tripod and we'll get this canning job going. Because as you can see, and here, it is boiling. So I'm only going to show you this twice because otherwise it will get monotonous because it's the same process over and over again. You fill your jars using your funnel and a nice big ladle. And in this case, it needs to be filled to a fourth of an inch headspace. And I'll show you that in just a moment. You want to debubble first. The recipe specifically said to debubble, so I'm going to do that. And then a fourth of an inch headspace is this first little notch on the tool and that's where I'm at so that's good so then of course once your jar is full you want to make sure and wipe the rim very well I like to use white vinegar instead of just plain water I just feel like it's just a little bit you know does a little bit better job cleaning and I like to use a paper towel because if it gets messy then I can just throw it away and get a fresh one. Then you'll need a lid and a ring. And you turn it fingertip tight and back in the canner it goes. And I'll show you that one more time. jars debubble I think I got this jar a little too full well actually it's pretty good you want to put the lip of this on the edge of the jar and then the tip of the tool should touch the food. And wipe the rim really thoroughly. Give it a lid. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up the rest of my jars, and when everything is in the canner, I'll bring you back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I was able to get six pints out of that batch of apple butter, and there's just probably a half a pint left in the pan, and I'll just put that in a jar and stick it in the refrigerator to eat right away. Um, now the next thing I do is I put this tray on top. It's just to keep the jars from rattling around and kind of keeps them in the correct space. And then I put the lid on and then I crank my timer or my, not timer, therm thermometer all the way up to the canning position. Now once this comes to a rolling boil then I will process these jars for 20 minutes. Now Ordinarily, you only process them for 15 minutes, but my apple butter wasn't quite as hot as it would have been had I canned it 
yesterday when it was done, you know, a after it had been cooking. It was hot, you saw it bubbling, but it wasn't as hot as I would have liked it to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and process this for 20 minutes instead of 15, just to make sure everything is good and um, safe. So when the jars are done and out of the canner, I will bring you back and show you the finished product. So there it is, friends. Six pints of beautiful apple butter. It's gonna be so delicious this winter on biscuits and on toast and on pancakes. It would even be good on vanilla ice cream. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, friends. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.